I'm just about to start welding these inner wings onto the mini and then I can start to get the, <coughs> the outer wings on and everything else. I've got everything pretty much lined up in the car and, uh, and, and to be honest it was it was too much to film. I was taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on and so on. You'd probably get bored with the video. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll film the, the rest of the process, put the car together and so on. So a wee bit of cutting and stuff, uh, trimmed, this, um, trimmed this all down, uh, you know, taking the bar off the edges there for the shock absorber mounts and stuff like that. And we just put a really weld primer on the back of it, so give it a wee bit of corrosion protection. Uh, so everything's pretty much lining up now, there's just a wee bit of mucking around to get that done. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this is just a very, very quick video. What I'm going to do is, um, <laughs> a lot of welding purists out there will say, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, I know, Every, everybody's always a, an expert welder and always got a comment about welding and I don't get it. If you're going to start welding, do what you find comfortable, uh, you know, and don't listen to these freaks that go on about, oh, you're doing it wrong and all that. Find your own way in welding and what you're comfortable with, and you know, see if you can do it. You know, it doesn't matter who says you're doing it wrong and all <laughs> that. Um, I've got my own way of welding. Everybody develops their own way of welding and stuff. So I'm going to show you how to dial in a MIG welder to weld sheet steel. So I've got a piece <coughs> just mocked up. And I just took my flat wheel to it and I'm just cleaned the metal up. That's a wee copper backing. I got that off frost years and years ago. I've got a computer heat sink as well, they work brilliant. Put that at the back of the sheet steel and it stops it warping. Yeah. So I'm just making a, a kind of mock up of roughly what the steel, the thickness of the steel is going to be. And I've just put it like that. So your wire speed, well, the setting I've got, I'm going to get this to sit now. Maybe drink a coffee. Sorry. I can't resist a coffee. Right, anyway, sorry. I'm rabbiting on here. Uh, I've got my setting on one minimum. Obviously, I don't want to put too much on there. And I've got my pressure uh, from my argon gas. Now, when you squeeze the trigger, it goes down just above two. That You just hear a small puff. You don't need any more than that. Set the pressure about that, but that's my personal recommendation anyway. Get yourself a pair of these as well. Welders pliers, they're brilliant. Uh, I'll just show you, I'll put this on. I've had a few problems with the wire feed on this Sealy welder, uh, time to time, but it's, uh, it's still good. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's still a good welder so I'm not going to knock it but you see what these pliers can do you can clean all your your junk out of there <laughs> and I mean this nozzle's had a lot of use uh, recently so you know it's but anyway and that tip I think I got this from Frost I can't actually remember for for sure this tip here is brilliant I mean, I, I can use, obviously, the welder without these little notches taken out, but that gives you a, a nice measurement against the metal. You get a nice consistent weld that way. Plus that little thing, you can put studs in for uh, a slate hammer and so on. So, you know, so always keep your pliers handy. Now, what, the way to dial it in, you obviously, you've obviously been watching videos and stuff about the sizzling bacon. I was wondering if you can cook bacon with that. Mm, mm, nah, that's me getting carried away again. Anyway, you'll get a sizzling bacon noise, but you need to get your wire speed right. Okay, so what I do is I'll put this up against this. I can turn it round and get this to sit. <laughs> I'll put it up against this piece of steel anyway. You'll see, it's not going to sit right now. There, there we have it. Okay, and then I'll pull the trigger, and I'll turn my wire speed up and down until just till I get that sizzling sound. That's you setting your wire speed, 
I haven't actually seen any videos doing that. There was one video years ago and somebody put set your wiring speed and the guy didn't even show you what to do. I don't get it. But as I say, there's always somebody, uh, some expert out there welding. And there is, there's people out there that can weld amazingly, you know. But, but you know, they, they need to learn that everybody's got to start somewhere. And all that. I hate when all this stuff, oh, you're doing it wrong and stuff. Anyway, that's me. I've had my rant. You do what you feel comfortable when you're welding. Practice it, practice it, practice it, and get better at it. And you know what? See if you can do it as best you can. Who cares? If you can stick metal, you're, you're halfway there. So anyway, I've got this setting at, on my ceiling at number six. And I'll just check and see what kind of weld this is going to give, okay? Right. It's not bad. Right, that's too slow. Mmm, nearly. That's sounding better, do you hear that? Oh, let's see. I get problems with my wire. It might need to go just a little touch higher. Oh. And there's my, my wire sticking again. It's apparently a common thing with these sealies. You take the, the thing away and it spits the wire out, you put it back in the metal and it stops working. And it's, <laughs> it's probably because I'm going that way. I'll just turn the handle that way and see if I can... Right, okay. That sounds good. Okay, so... Right. That's roughly what you want. Now, do you see the heat penetration there settling out? Okay, so we're... You know, I can fidget about with it a wee bit more, but that's pretty much how you dial in a, a MIG welder. Okay. As I say, not, don't put too much gas on it. It doesn't need it. So, just... You always clip your wire again. <laughs> clip your wire. That doesn't sound too good. Okay, so you'll see the final ones with the heat penetration. That's that's what you're looking for. Okay. And take this off a wee second. I'll show you the back. Copper the copper thing is invaluable. These copper plates. But anyway, you'll, you'll see from my last ones. Oh, trust me, you get that out of the camera. <laughs> you'll see with the last ones, you'll see the heat penetration spreading. Okay, so take this off. It's probably roasting hot. There you are. And I don't know if you can see that. But the final ones there, you get good penetration. If you can get that far with welding, you're on to a winner. You're getting there. All right. As I say, I'm not the best welder. Just get your welder and get out there and do it. Anyway, I'll be looking forward to getting my next video up to you guys shortly, and uh, you can start to see the car come together. You know. So, well, thanks for watching, and catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Listen to that rain out there. <sighs> Ciao, bye. Ooh, whoa. I forget my I forget the last of my, my coffee. Anyway.